Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. This thing gets stuck to everything. Kind of drives me a little bit insane. But it's already almost 12. I just showered this morning and I'm going to blow dry my hair. It's been a couple of times since I've used heat, which I noticed my hair does not like. It feels like drier when I let it air dry. And then after like day two, it feels, I don't know, like damaged, I guess. So I'm going to blow dry see if that helps me out a little bit i need to do like some deep conditioning mask or something to help her out because she is struggling but i'm gonna run to the grocery store after that and i was gonna go to target and i wanted to pop in goodwill because i haven't been in one in forever just to see if there's like any decor stuff but i might end up doing that tomorrow because we have some stuff to get done here and i'm either gonna have a very productive sunday or a very productive monday because i need to do like a full clean of the house laundry, everything. I'm making some pizzas for the uni and I'm gonna try, typically I make my own dough with this flour, but I'm gonna try the Publix pizza dough and see how that turns out so that I can either switch up my recipe. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to see how it performs in this oven. I'm just going to do plain cheese because I feel like that's the perfect test. Here's our pizza before. I will say this is like a lot more dense than the dough I make. So I'm curious if this like puffs up like crazy. So she got a little toasty. Um, I don't know why I did the same thing I always do. So it's probably a difference in the dough. And this is also much more of a thicker dough. I probably should have halved it and done two smaller ones to get like the thinner crust pizza that we prefer, but it's a good learning curve. What? Oh, he's screaming. it is literally a thousand degrees outside right now like the only thing you can wear is a tank top and it's reminding me that i need to order some like comfy lounge shorts because i am dying i just like cranked the ac down because it's literally hot inside at this point typically we leave it on 75 during the day and like 68 70 at night and i can't even do 75 it gets so hot in here but it's the end of the day today flew by so fast the work day flew by i guess it was probably because i was busy but it was like next thing i knew it was the end of the day and then i was able to get some cleaning done some of my things on my to-do list and then i just did a quick like 20 minute little matt pilates workout for today i've been loving the walking pad so i've been doing like 15,000 steps a day i feel like it motivates you to do more stuff like once your work day is over versus like just sitting down you know so Anyways, I ordered a few things. This stuff has come in over like the past week and I've just kind of set it in the office because we've just been busy. And I ordered a couple things from Zara. These I just tried on. I should have showed you guys, but I just tried them on after I got out of the shower. I just got some white denim. They are called balloon jeans. They don't look like the, like pair, what are they calling them? The horseshoe like jeans. I feel like these kind of give similar vibes by the name, but I love the fit of them. And what size did I get? That says, I got a two. And I feel like they fit good. Um, typically I feel like I wear like a 25, 26. I lean more 26. And I got a two in these and they fit good at the waist. If you want them like a baggier fit, I would go probably up a size so those are from zara if i didn't say that already and then i got these super cute little lace shorts 
My plan with these, and they're like split on the side. My plan with these is to wear a shirt that basically just has like the lace popping out at the bottom. I got this shirt. I don't know how I feel about it with it. I know it looks a little crazy here, but um, I feel like it kind of looks cute together. I don't know. And it's like nice and flowy because it is so freaking hot out. And then I saw these on an ad from Old Navy, 20 bucks. And they're just like these, I doubt that they're linen. Let's see what they are, probably polyester. Oh no, they are 55% linen, 45% rayon. So like half linen, um, but it gives the linen vibes. And I just liked the little pockets at the back. And I got a size extra small and it fits like my waist perfectly. So again, like if you want to go a little baggy, go up a size. I've been looking at a lot of stuff at Gap too because I seen somebody pop up on my For You page talking about it. And literally their sweatshirts and stuff are the same like material blend as like Aritzia sweatshirts. We're going to try them and do like a little comparison and see what we think because they're like 30 bucks on sale instead of like 80 and then the last couple of things, I am waiting on this necklace that I'm super excited about that I got off of Etsy. It's like a sea glass necklace. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. But I did also off of Etsy order this little gold seashell. I just thought it would be perfect to like switch out for this time of year and it let you pick like what you wanted your chain to look like. So I think it's just, I can't remember the quality. It's not solid gold. Um, so it's probably not something I would wear, like I wear this, like in the shower, to the beach, anything, which I probably shouldn't do anyways, but um, we'll see how the quality wears. And then the last thing I saw, I got, I got got by the Instagram ads, um, but I saw these sunglasses and I want these glasses from, I think the brand is Aquila LA and I want to say they're like $175, so I just didn't really feel like spending that this month. I was looking to buy like more clothes. Um, but this brand is Meller, I believe is how you call it. They come in these cute little sleeves. I do love like a sleeve like this. I know it's not as protective, but to like throw around in your car or a bag. Um, so I got these and I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like these are, well, I look insane. But I feel like these are more of like a, I don't know. Maybe they're too big for my head. Sometimes I have trouble finding sunglasses that I like because my cheeks are a little bit fuller than I would prefer. Like a little chubby cheek moment. Um, I think it's also probably because I'm so pale. Ooh. Well, and I almost broke them, so. Um, but anyways, they had like buy one, get one free basically. And they remind me of similar quality of the Vela. That's how you say it. Vela, Vela glasses that I wear all of the time, which were more expensive than these. So that was like a dark green. And then this is like a black. So we'll see if anything, they're good to have in your beach bag because I never really wear nice sunglasses to the beach because they get all scratched up with the sand and everything. But I think that was it. Kind of just accumulated a little bit. But it's Memorial Day next weekend and they always do like tons of sales and stuff. So we'll see. I need to still go through my closet and kind of like literally make a list so I don't overbuy stuff that I don't need. And I do need some like swimsuits and cover-ups and shorts basically are the number one things that scared me my water is almost unboiling but i'm just making spaghetti for dinner just to keep it simple tonight it's going to be like part of the every other week rotation because i need simpler stuff because we've just been busy and i always set myself up for failure with like more time consuming recipes during a work week. One of my favorite tips for a jarred sauce is to get all of it out. I know people talk about um, rinsing it out and just putting a little bit of water, but use your pasta water and dump that in there and shake it up. It works out so good. Mm -hmm. 